Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at simplifying algebraic expressions involving fractions. So we have simplified the following expression and we're looking at 10y over negative 2y squared divided by 5 over 8y to the fourth. So for this problem here, let's make use of that keep change flip technique for dividing fractions. That is, this we could call line 1. So for line 2, we want to rewrite this problem as 10y over negative 2y squared. And now we're going to, we kept this first fraction the same. Now we're going to change this operation to multiplication. And we're going to flip the second fraction to 8y to the fourth over 5. So now what we could do next, using order of operations, for the next line, we could simplify this expression here, this negative 2y squared. And just to recall, when we square anything, we're multiplying it by itself. So we're going to be multiplying negative 2y times negative 2y to simplify this piece here. So for the next line, we have 10y over, and now we have negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. And now we have y times y is y squared. So now we can just rewrite everything else. We have times 8y to the 4th over 5. So now before we move to the next line, we can simplify. We have common factors between these two fractions. Notice how 8 divided by 4 is 2. So if we think of it this way, we're, doing, we're going to divide the numerator and denominator of this fraction by 4. So we have 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And now we can divide the numerator and denominator of this fraction by 5. And we have 10 divided by 5 is 2. And 5 divided by 5 is 1. So now for the next line, we're going to just sort all of this together. We have 2 times y times 2 times y to the 4th. So let's multiply like terms. We have 2 times 2 is 4. We have y times y to the 4th is y to the 5th over, and now in the denominator, all that's left is y squared times 1, but y squared times 1 is y squared. So now to finish this problem, we could go ahead and use the division property for exponents. So for line 5 here, we could say that this is 4y to the 5 minus 2, which gives us 4y to the 3rd. But to illustrate how we could use this property, just note that 4y to the 5th is really 4 times y times y times y times y times y over y squared, which is y times y. So notice how the two y's cross off from the numerator and denominator, leaving us with 4 times y times y times y, which is 4y to the 3rd. So this is how we would simplify this expression here. We get 4y to the third. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on simplifying algebraic expressions involving fractions. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this video was helpful.